okay now that we can log in and log out so by the way i've added some code behind the scene you can find that on github so uh, currently we are in home component and we want to pull all the contacts if user is logged in so let's go to home.js and here we'll uh, render the component so i'll call it contacts and we'll display our contacts here so before that we need to fetch all the contacts first so we'll create fetch contacts method so this method will just post access uh, request to our endpoint slash contacts and then on suc success we'll return response and do necessary action for now just log the response to check if it works so before doing that we need to configure a bit uh, uh, as you can uh, if you remember we do uh, we pass complete url in login so we can make a configuration on base axios instance like uh, specifying the base url and all so if you go to documentation page and search for global configs so here are some i'll copy them all and i'll post paste it here so our base url uh, is this just cut it out and uh, we need to uh, post the token also so bearer space and then we need to pass our token which is token just put it above token so now we don't need to pass token every time it will automatically pass and content type will be application json okay that's it now let's now we can just do slash contacts and it will pass necessary token and base url is already concatenated with this so fetch contacts will call this method uh, as soon as component is mounted so component did mount so it is like uh, mounted in Vue.js if you remember if you use Vue.js so when component is mounted uh, we'll call this method this dot fetch contacts let's see I think we need to do window yeah 200 uh, yeah we got all contacts here okay so now we have contacts uh, contacts equals to response and we need to save this inside uh, state so the way we do it like this now let's create this dot state so contacts will be empty array by default and after we fetch contacts we'll set state this dot set state contacts calls to contacts this contacts okay mm, so now we should have contacts in store so let's go to react component and let's search for home and let's see what okay we got uh, contacts as a state and now we need to loop through each and display that in our home page so the way we do that in react is you can find that information in list and key section so we need to just uh, loop through or map through each contact and display them uh, like so list item or whatever way you want okay so let's do that 
so inside render uh, we'll display those contacts uh, inside uh, another list for now and here will be list item for each so what I will do is uh, I will uh, map through each state so this state dot contacts and we need to map through each so we'll have access to contact and here uh, we'll construct a list item and list item inside list item there will be contact dot full name you can extract um, a separate component for that as well for this part we'll do if there is a complex logic inside here also we need to pass in key which will be the ID of contact which we get from backend there we go so we can see full name of each contact so also what you can do is uh, you can just extract everything to a component sorry con uh, constant so you can call constant uh, contact items and then do same thing and here you can reference that contact items variable created here that will also do same thing there we go or you can uh, extract this thing into a separate component and then include it here and just call it like so so you, your choice so for a simple thing like this this is okay okay so this is how we display contacts in our phone book